Every student in Nizhny Novgorod now has a chance to be a part of the 2018 FIFA World Cup. On December 10th, Lobachevsky University opened a center that will be in charge of selecting and training of volunteers for the Cup. The inaugural ceremony gathered students as well as the representatives of government and academia. This upcoming unprecedented event inspires people of all ages and backgrounds. I am very pleased to see Nizhny Novgorod join the list of the cities that got an opportunity to create a university-based volunteer center. The volunteer movement in the university has a good history. For instance, volunteers from Lobachevsky University and the city helped at the Sochi Olympic Games. There is no doubt that our university is ready for the job. And these are not just plain words. I would like to stress the fact that we joined the list of 15 best universities not by chance, but as a result of a serious work getting us ready for the competition. Lobachevsky University has a wide network of student volunteer organizations. The scope of their activities is wide. It ranges from helping people with disabilities and urban patriotic performances to working at nationwide events. The World Cup will become a new challenge for our volunteers. They will become the face of the city and the country when thousands of fans from all over the world come to Nizhny Novgorod to cheer for their national teams. First of all, we love our university. And secondly, we promote the healthy lifestyle and promote our sports teams. University will do a major work to get ready for the World Cup. This is an amazingly interesting event and so many people want to be a part of it. Not just watch the games on TV, but see everything with their own eyes. Every student definitely has to try it. First of all, because it's a great experience in terms of communications, finding new friends and meeting interesting people. Besides, many people today feel the need to be a part of something bigger. So if students really want to participate in such major events, the the World Cup and volunteer work are the two things that go hand in hand for them, and they shouldn't miss this opportunity. These volunteer centers have been established in 15 Russian universities in all the 11 cities hosts of the World Cup. These organizations will be officially certified and then start their operations next spring. Our country will have to provide 20,000 volunteers, and it's already clear today that there won't be a lack of volunteers for this event. Nizhny Novgorod will host six games of the World Cup, including the round of 16 and quarter-final matches. I believe that everything will go well. The World Cup will be a success and will help in any way we can. I invite everyone, not only UNN students, to take part. Please come to the Volunteer Center.